Hey everybody, I'm going to do a review of this motorcycle glove I just got in the mail uh, yesterday. It's a Cortec Adrenaline 3, brand new. Uh, this is a really nice glove, I like it a lot. I'm glad I ordered it. I got one on my hand here as you can see, and one flopping around on my lap. I'm in the bathroom here because it's kind of a weird format. I got a towel on my lap, I'm in the bathroom because this room has the best lighting in my house. Uh, so, especially not right now when it's snowing and all dark outside. So, I haven't ridden in these gloves yet, obviously, because of the weather. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I, 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 I'm pretty sure we'll just have to deal with that. Maybe next summer I'll make another video talking about how, how the venting works on them. That's about the only issue I think you'd, you'd see on uh, being able to ride in it already. I'm not really going to go through all the specs on it. That's If you want to watch that, it's on Revzilla. Uh, I think that's a goat skin palm. I really purchased it because this glove had the dual hard palm sliders. <clears throat> and uh, in the price point of uh, $220, there wasn't really another glove that had all these uh, safety features at that price point. The glove I directly was comparing it with was the... Uh, it's, a, it's called Five, the Glove, Glove Company Five. Uh, they're, uh, I can't remember, R, RXF maybe, I think, um, Glove. It was pretty similar, but they only had one hard palm slider on it, not this one. And uh, they did have the pinky attachment in between. I, I actually think that the dual hard palm sliders is a better safety uh, option than than the pinky attachment I wish this one had it but I mean whatever I can deal with it that's the only the only gripe I have about this glove is not having a pinky attachment <clears throat> but you know like I said it, it ups it with that extra palm slider so there's venting under the knuckles with mesh screening there's perforations in those knuckles and you know, obviously accordion stuff. These fingertip sliders are, uh, uh, they're plastic TPU or whatever you call that stuff. That's the super fabric stuff, which is actually really cool stuff. Uh, I think those beads are ceramic on top of Kevlar, I think, or ceramic on top of something. It has the dual closure. And a hard TPU cuff. Obviously, it's perforated. Underneath this flap here, you see those vent. There's that mesh under there too. The uh, the steel mesh venting underneath the uh, movable knuckle guards. The knuckle guards are real big. They, they stick right out. It's, but they sit right on top of my knuckles too, which is good. There's not like a lot of forward impact, like like knuckle area, like punching wise. Well, you don't do that with this glove, but it's definitely made to protect you in a, like a backhand slap against the pavement, which is, you know, good. It's, it's what it should be for. Uh, so fitment wise is what this video is really gonna be about. Uh, this, this is a large, my hand fit right on uh, four inches across my palm in the scale it was right at large so seeing as leather usually stretches about five percent from what they say on the revzilla i i went straight with the large and i'm glad i did because the, the fingers on this glove fit probably as close to my finger length as any glove i've ever had uh i have maybe a quarter inch extra at the tip it's, it's pretty close. I can't complain about it. The thumb is almost perfect. So I have kind of a bit short of a finger. But uh, since I lost some weight, my hand is not quite plump or chubby or anything. You know, it's so it was right at the four. These gloves are pretty hard to get into, actually. And they're hard to get off. I mean, you loosen up that, you know, that center locking strap underneath the Cortec logo logo protector and uh 
you, you take that off, undo the two double closure, and it's it's still hard to get into or out of. I thought it was gonna not fit, but uh, once you're into it, it, it fits good, and it definitely would not come off in an accident. I mean, you, you could, by the time this thing got dragged off my arm, my, my arm would be ripped off, and the glove, my hand would still be in the glove. So, I mean, it, but that's not uncomfortable. I, I think that's a good aspect. There is a little bit of pressure on my wrist right now from from one of these pieces of armor. I could try to tap on it or indicate it, but I can't really with the way I got set up here, holding the phone. Uh, but honestly, that doesn't bother me when I have my leather on underneath. That the Any type of irritation in the wrist from the plastics is gone with my leather underneath. I tried it on last night like that. <clears throat> the uh, This glove, the, the right one, this plastic here, did put a little bit of pressure on my hand last night on top, but I, I think it'll go away. You, get, you gotta have time to let these things break in uh, and, you know, form to you and loosen up and stuff. And the only thing I see kind of weird is this one is a little curved, this TPU on the, the uh, outer wrist armor. But that doesn't that doesn't really affect it. I think it's just the way it was in the packaging, sitting for you know however length like of time. Because this one isn't like that when it's off, but it doesn't it doesn't create like it's you know it's actually pretty movable. It's pretty easy. It doesn't create a pressure point either. Uh, again, my jacket is under there, so and, and with it off, I, I didn't find it to be overly pressurized either. But the jacket definitely keeps the wrist, you know, from bothering you. Uh, it's an awesome glove for the price. I, I don't see where, you know, the the only thing I see on this this little protector for this buckle guy seems to stand out straight a little bit. But the, I mean that doesn't bother me. I think if I fall, it'll end up underneath it anyway. You know, it'll. I think I could probably um, put some type of leather oil or what whatever like treatment on that and it would probably relax and lay back if I if I wanted to bother working with it leather's pretty you know adaptable if you use the proper like uh what do you want to call it conditioners on it and it seems to get stuck on the way it's left in packaging and stuff sometimes so but I'm I'm really happy with these for the price I def it's definitely giving you a high end of protection for the, your two hundred dollars. So, uh, yeah, I would definitely go with these. Um, I'm always paranoid about the fit, you know, because you, you got to try it. But at least that I ordered these from Revzilla. You can send them back and try the next size or whatever. But yeah, they seem to fit perfectly true to the true to size on the chart. So I'm, I'm happy with them. I just got to be able to ride and test them out, but that won't happen for a few months now. Thanks a lot. Be safe on the motorcycle. Wear gear. Later. So once I made my coffee here and I uh, had a slip, I, I realized I, I left a couple things out of my uh, video, so I'm going to do a quick addendum here to it. A little low battery alert there. Uh, and I'm just going to cut it into the video here and edit it. Uh, so this is I. This is the packaging it comes in. Just you know, a plastic hairdresser looking box thing. I'm sure you'd probably just throw that away, maybe. Or I don't know if you want to keep that. You know, I don't know. I don't know why you'd keep it. I wouldn't want to put my gloves in there if they were sweaty. Have them sit in that. But <clears throat> uh, so I I bought I tried on a couple pairs of gloves in Ottawa, Canada, before I decided on these, and. Uh, just as a reference, I, I tried on a pair of Revit's and a pair of uh, uh, BMW's, right? Um, they were in the case over there at the Ottawa Good Time Center. And they were they were high-end gloves, man. They were like in the $400 range. And uh, the Revit's were pretty decent. Uh, I think they might have been an extra large. So they fit pretty well, but the... the the tip gave me a little bit more, not bad, uh, but the BMW glove for like four hundred over. I think it was over four hundred dollars Canadian, which is probably three seventy American. I'm thinking just off the top of my head right now. 
uh, they they were like, I'm thinking they were an extra large as well. The the palm wasn't too bad, but the fingers itself were at least a half an inch too long for me. At least, and it, it, it was a weird fit in glove, and neither the Revit was pretty close in protection wise to this glove, but not as much and not as good of a. Um, Obviously, it was just an extra large, but um, fitment-wise, even though it was a little bigger, it didn't feel as secure like here. Now, obviously, like I said, it was a bigger glove or whatever, but you have to trust me in what I'm trying to say here. It wasn't as well, you know, locked onto your arm. I don't, I don't believe it had the double closure even. But And, and for $400 Canadian, Jesus, man, come on. These are 220 American. Uh, the BMW gloves for that price, I'm sorry, man. No, no. They were not, they had about half as much protection. Uh, they were not nearly as secure on your hand at all. It, it felt like, it almost felt like a glove you'd put on to throw a wood in your wood stove compared to this. And it was a 410 probably dollar glove. It, come on, you know. And Oh, you got a BMW name, you know. Uh, it, well, it, kind of insulting to people who actually can look at good gear and decide on their own, you know? I mean, value-wise, these Cortex are uh, top of the line, right with that. You, I would, like I said before, that Revit glove is comparable. Or, I'm sorry, not Revit, but uh, that 5 glove was is comparable to these and safety-wise per, per price point. And quality. I, I have looked at these gloves pretty pretty hard and uh, haven't seen like a, a bad stitch yet. And they're, I'm pretty sure it's a Kevlar thread in them and stuff as well. And, and uh, I, I don't want to go through all the, the things because you can look that up somewhere else. It'll just waste time on the video. But And like the seam protection on there. Uh, you know, and they, these also have an, a, a, a pre-curved pinky and uh, ring finger. As you see, the BMW Revit didn't have that. Not that I noticed anyway. I mean, maybe the Revit did, but I don't think so. And I'm almost positive the BMW didn't with its long-ass gangly fingers. I don't know if Germans have like weird friggin' long elf hands or something, but that glove was a piece of shit. So, that was my quick addendum after some coffee. And uh, just give you a little more info. One, one gripe I have is the logo on these. I think could have been done better. It kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit too much, if you ask me. It could be maybe a little more subtle, maybe not quite so bold, and it gives me like a 90s snowmobile fucking feel for that glove, excuse my language, but not, but it's not horrible, and it matches the jacket logo on the on the upper arms, which is about the same size, And but the, these just seem like they stick out more, and I wish that TPU wasn't shiny. On the, on the wrist. I wish it was more of a flat, like the knuckles. But, I mean, that's a pretty small gripe. I'm not really worried about that. I, I definitely go for uh, uh, quality and function rather than aesthetics, really, in that aspect. So, thanks, guys, again.